Hey, my name is Finn and I'm a consultant at Verovis. Welcome to today's webinar on our advanced cash forecasting solution deployed with SAP Data Intelligence. At the beginning, I would like to give you an overview of SAP Data Intelligence. SAP Data Intelligence is a comprehensive cloud solution for data-driven processes and innovation for the entire enterprise landscape. It is the result of the merger of SAP Data Hub and SAP Leonardo Machine Learning and offers a solution that serves all components in the end-to-end -end process of an advanced analytics case. Thanks a lot, Finn, and hi everyone. My name is Philip, consultant at Verobis. Let me briefly introduce our company first. We are a consulting firm for performance management and advanced analytics, and our guiding principles are work pragmatically, deliver tangible results, and energize companies during the transformation to a more sustainable and digital financial organization. As we are specialized on CPM, we serve the office of the CFO. Here you can see an overview on our most popular machine learning use cases related to the office of the CFO. Our cases can be categorized into financial forecasting and financial anomaly detection in various fields. The use case we want to focus on in this video is our cash prediction or cash forecasting. Just to give you a quick summary of our advanced cash forecasting. The initial situation we often see at our customers is that they would like to have a reliable and efficient account receivables management to quickly operationalize cash in prediction and to focus on cash management rather than doing the number crunching manually. This is where our solution can make a real difference. Our solution automatically predicts payment dates of open invoices by considering all relevant invoice attributes like the customer, the amount, product, and time. We provide insights for payment behaviors within all relevant steering dimensions. The project value we deliver is that we recognize patterns of insolvency threats and corresponding losses of payments. Furthermore, we enable you to proactively realize claims and to manage your receivables. Our solution allows a rapid deployment of an end-to-end -end cloud cash-in prediction. Talking about the features of our cash forecasting solution, now I will shed some light on the architecture of the SAP end-to-end -end process. As in all machine learning approaches, everything starts with data. We extract all relevant tables directly from an SAP ERP ECC system using a daily routine to get all paths and open invoices. In the pre-processing step, we denormalize and build a transaction chain from invoice to payment in order to get one consistent data frame to train on. During the training and testing step, we train a random forest on our dataset. We cross-validate on a time series based train test split and fine-tune the model in a grid search approach. The result of this process is a model that not only predicts the payment dates of open invoices, but updates and improves itself automatically every day with every new piece of data. The predictions are written back to the SAP HANA database and finally we present the results in an intuitive dashboard in the SAP Analytics Cloud. But what happens inside of our random forest regressor? Several hundred decision trees are built up to identify payment patterns based on past invoices and payment behaviors. All these decision trees are combined to one powerful random forest regressor. These ensemble of algorithms predict the date at which each open invoice is likely to be paid using the identified patterns. Based on these predictions, a forecast of expected cash in per day is estimated for the next weeks as well as worst and best case scenarios. Additionally, insights on typical payment patterns, payment drivers and customer behavior are identified and visualized in our dashboard. But now, let's jump right into the demo on SAP Data Intelligence. The complete process is divided into three different pipelines. Starting with the first one, you see a workflow which starts with the integration of SAP HANA provided by the SAP HANA Table Consumer Operator. In this operator, you can select the desired HANA table by specifying the schema as well as the table name and all column names and types. In addition to the table consumer, the file needs to be saved as raw data in our data lake for further pre-processing steps. At the end, a user-specified function written in a Python 3 operator is added to check the status of all flows and to make sure that the graph is safe to terminate without losing data. The second pipeline does most of the job, starting with reading the data from the data lake. 
In the next steps, several Python operators work together from data integration to pre-processing and feature engineering until the model is trained and saved by the artifact producer. Between the operators, several data frames are passed to the subsequent operator or saved as files in our data lake. Furthermore, in SAPDI we are able to send metrics from each Python operator, join them together and save them all in a built-in metrics overview in the ML Scenario Manager, which is unique per run. Here you can see an overview about the saved metrics, which shows the prediction performance of the trained model, as well as several other information, which are helpful to check the correctness of the workflow. At the very bottom, we have the produced model, including the creation timestamp. As you have seen in the data load workflow, at the very end, a Python operator is added to make sure that all files and metrics are saved and the model is produced before terminating the graph. But now let's switch to the prediction pipeline. At the beginning of this graph, you can see a combination of a data loading process based on pre-processed data from previous pipeline and the model loading process. To load a model, it is necessary to submit its name to the counterpart of the artifact producer, the artifact consumer. The Python operator combines the data and the model and passes everything to the next operator which uses the model to produce forecasts. The last Python operator generates data frames in a format which can be used directly by the SAC to fill the dashboard. For this step, SAP HANA client operators upload the new data frames into a new or existing table in our HANA database depending on the configuration. Again, everything is checked for completion before termination. Now that you know how the data is extracted, pre-processed, used to build and train a model and to make new predictions, I will show you some highlights of the reporting part. In the last step, the forecast data is loaded into the SAP Analytics Cloud to perform as a foundation of our advanced cash forecasting report. What you can see here is the dashboard page of our report. On this page, you can get a general overview on the situation by analyzing past and future cash in, as well as the amount of incoming cash we can expect over the next few weeks. As you can see here on the top left, the date of the report is mid-March, which is due to the demo data set. Under the header, we see KPIs of past and future cash in, as well as the bar chart displaying historic and future data. At the very bottom, we see with how much delays we have to recon with on average over time, as well as per day during the current month. The line shows the current date, and indicates that everything onwards is taking place in the future and thus based on our forecast. The next page shows more detailed information about the past cash in. As you can see, the forecasts are no longer future data but past data compared to the actuals that came in later. While the KPIs on the left show accumulated data, the bar chart shows the comparison of actuals and forecasts per calendar week. The forecasts are revolving around the actuals which is a good indicator that our forecasts are pretty accurate. The delay of payment at the bottom shows us exactly the customer which are the best and worst in paying the invoices on time. But now let's have a look into the future. Here we can get a detailed look in what we can expect in the following weeks and identify who is likely to pay soon. The most prominent chart displays the forecasts per week including worst and best case scenarios as lines in the same visual. The first KPI on the left is known from the dashboard page. The second KPI shows the actual cash in for the current month up to the current date. Below we have a few detailed KPIs on the forecast. First, there is the forecast for the next day. Second, we have a forecast until the end of month. And the last KPI shows a combination of the actual MTD value and the two month end forecast. Of course, for all of these KPIs we have a forecast corridor. If more detailed information is necessary, we can just scroll down to the detail view which gives access to information about the customers with the highest invoice amount. Furthermore, the two tables provide information about open invoices and which invoice is likely to be overdue in the next 30 days. All of this detailed information work together with the other KPIs to give an idea about the rest of the month to improve financial decision making. This was a quick overview about the implementation and report of our cash forecasting demo case. And now I'm going to hand it over to Finn for some final information. Thank you, Philip, for this great demo of our solution. I will now focus on the necessary organizational steps to operationalize our solution. 
First, it is important to know that we will guide you through the process of implementation. We will start together with a kickoff workshop to clarify the individual, technical and organizational setup. We will align with your IT and Treasury departments and discuss if there are any special customizations required. Afterwards, we start the tenant preparation and set up the initial data load from the SAP ERP system. To assure that the loaded data meets the necessary quality standards, we conduct data validation sessions with business. When all quality gates are passed, the jobs for recurring data loads are set up. The last step of the ramp up phase is the end user enablement. We train the users in handling the application and correctly interpreting the results. The whole ramp up usually does not take longer than a month and guarantees a rapid deployment. During the following operations phase, it is always possible to monitor the model's performance over time. And if you need any assistance, Verovis is there for you if you have any support tickets or change requests for enhancements. If you would like to have a better and fully automated overview on your cash situation, we would be happy to support you on the way. If we raised your interest, please contact us. You'll find our contact information in the video description. Thanks for watching and take care.